训练远距离超凡书写力。Hello, it's time for Beyond Norm Topic Master. Our theme this week is life and society. We all live a life in this society, so it's really important to know how to live a better life there. First of all. We have to take a look at the crisis in our life. We all want to be successful, and we all fail several times. I know that you don't want to give up, so it is important to know what keeps you from being successful. You have to know what is the crisis that keeps you from your goal. Is it your bad friend? Is it that you spend too much time playing online game, so you have problem with your time control? Is it because some bad habits, smoking, gambling, and so on and on? Try to find the problem and solve it. And after we talk about the crisis in our life, we also have to take a look at the crisis in our society. We want our society to be good because not only you, but your friends, your family, and in the future, your children will be living in this society. So you want this society to be really successful. And again, there are crises that keeps our society from being the wonderful place for us to live. For example, there might be too many crimes, or there's a lot of garbage, or because of air pollution and noise pollution, Our our society is aging. Find the problem, and help solve the problem. And question three: After you know the crisis, and you also have to know what is the most important thing to keep a good life. For example, is it money? Is it education? Is it hard work? Is it marriage? Try to find it, and try to think about how to get it. And after we talk about the most important thing in our life, we also have to look at the most important thing in our society. For example, family education is the basement of the society, so it is the most important. Or you think it is the government that that builds a good society? Question five. I think this is a common experience that sometimes you walk on the street at night. You may see these homeless people, or street people, sitting in the dark at the corner of the street. It is their home. Or sometimes you go to the night market, you see beggars crawling on the ground, asking people for money. Why are there these kind of people in Taiwan? Why do these people choose to leave home and live on the street, or ask people for money? Think about it, and you and your family or people who you know won't be that kind of people in the future. For question six, you have to ask yourself why you are apathetic about something in our society. When we are apathetic about something, we simply don't care about it. But it is something that is happening in our life in the society. Why do we become apathetic? If people can find a reason why they become apathetic, they will care more about what is happening around them. For question seven, we have to look at Taiwan, and we know that most people can live longer because they are healthier, because of better medicine. However, there are also fewer and fewer newborn babies in our society. Taiwan is aging. Then there will be some problems in the aging society. For example, there will be fewer soldiers to protect Taiwan, or young people have to take care of more older people. What else is the problem that is caused by an aging society? If we know the problems, then young people can help themselves prepare for the day to come. Question eight is to look at our society. Ask yourself this question: Do you think our society is making progress? Is it getting better? And try to give an example to prove that our society is really making progress, is really getting better. For question nine, ask ourselves whether our society is a civilized society. 
For example, people are polite and people think for others. People are well educated. There are a few bad guys, and so on. Try to give an example to support your idea. Question ten is to talk about what is the success in your mind. I believe that most people want to be successful, so it's important to know what exactly is success, so that people can know what they have to do. Question eleven is a question that has been asked for a very long time. Which is more important, bread or love? Bread usually means material life. For example, big car, big house, beautiful clothes, so that people can see that you are successful. Love usually means spiritual life. It is not something that people can see. But it is something in your mind that makes you feel happy. So, which do you think is more important in your life? For the next question, question twelve, we look at these two important words: idealistic, realistic. An idealistic person is usually a person who has a lot of dreams and believe that their dreams will come true one day. Realistic person is a person. Who looks at what is really happening around them? They see facts, not dreams. Now, if you can choose to be one kind of these two people, an idealistic person or a realistic person, which one would you choose? Try to give an example. Okay, all the above are some ideas that may help you to have a good discussion on this topic with others. 加入超凡远距，成就超凡英语缩写能力。